Hello and welcome to Blue Army TV. I'm sitting here after Carlisle have been beaten away from home three two at Leighton Orient in a game that um look it's it's for the first time in about two years, it's a game I haven't watched in some kind of way. Um I'm kinda glad of that to be honest from what I've heard from people, but I almost feel like this match report today isn't going to be too much about the match, it's going to be more about the bigger picture because that seems to be the big discussion point around Carlisle at the minute. Um, and I, f I think it's time to acknowledge, um, I'm not I'm, I'm not similar, to, I don't think I will be uh, for, for until some kind of extreme happens where we're in a relegation battle in League 2 or something like that because, you know, he's such a hero of Carlisle um, and it is a fair point that you keep someone based on what they're going to do in the future, not what they're going to do in the past. Um, but but look, it's time to acknowledge um, that there are people that think that, um, and that it's not just a really small, loud minority, or it's not just mental people on Twitter. You know, it, it the, there is a a, a a significant. I wouldn't say it's over fifty percent, but there's a significant portion of Carlisle fans that now are starting to question Paul Simpson and whether he's the right man for the job. And my answer to that would be, what what's the alternative? Um, because look, you, you can't just sack a manager for the sake of sacking him. You've got to have somebody to replace him with. Like you look back, like, look at when Paul Simpson got the job. Um, when we sacked Keith Millen, we sacked Keith Millen because we had Paul Simpson lined up. We didn't sack Keith Millen because, you know, he wasn't doing a very good job. Which we, we, which, we, which we did as well, to be fair. But the reason we did it when we did it was because we had Paul Simpson lined up and ready to take the job after he left. Um. And look, I don't think there's a manager you can get in this position. Who takes this job? Who takes the Carlisle job? Ten points adrift at the bottom of the league. You do, you, they, they don't. They don't. That doesn't happen. And if you're gonna get a manager like that, it's a manager desperate for a job who isn't up to the quality of what Paul Simpson really is. And if you accept the fact that we're relegated this season, which I don't, I don't. We're ten points um, off from safety, which means you know that that's three wins and a draw away, pretty much. Um, and there's 16 games left of this season. It's not impossible. It's a very big ask, I'll give you that. But it's not impossible. Um, and even if we went down to League 2, I don't think there's a manager that's got a better record of getting out of League 2 than Paul Simpson. To my knowledge, um, I think he's had three seasons there. The season he came in at Carlisle initially almost got us uh, into safety. And we're talking... Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, so every single time he's been in League 2, it's been a success. Um the initial one he came in, brought us on a brilliant run of form, unfortunately couldn't keep us up. Uh, the next season he had in League 2, we got promoted um, from it. Then he did the exact same thing again, pretty much, where he came in, saved us, um, and then got promoted again. You know, he's been he's been promoted in every full season he's had in League 2, anyways. Um, and yeah, so if we're going to be in League 2 next season, I can't think of a man better for the job than him. But you've just got to think at the minute... That performance today, three two, and it's a very flattering scoreline for us, you know. And you know when we're getting beat, and it's still a flattering scoreline that things are going wrong. You know, it could have easily been four or five, from what I've heard from people. And you look at the shot map um, on FotMob, three shots we had, two of them were a goal, one of them was a penalty, and you've got to think very lucky goal for the first one. The second one was a penalty, which for some reason Sean Maguire was taken. You default that he gave it to Luke Armstrong to give him a, just get him another goal, I suppose, but. Sean Maguire apparently is a penalty taker now. I'm 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 a bit a little bit lost with that, but um, yeah, it it it's it, it's yeah, it, it, we're in a lost position here because there's no right answer of what to do. My opinion is stick with it till the end of the season. You would just give him a transfer window. You can't sack him now. Um, you know we 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 see him out to the rest of the season. and We give him the start of next season, and if next season the bad form continues, and we're in a relegation battle again next year then questions need to be asked. And that's that's where I'm at with it at the minute. I don't think he should be sacked because I think he's earned the right to have this season in League One. It's a, it's a season that we never really expected to have because, you know, he's, he's been a victim of his own success in that way. We probably shouldn't have been promoted with the budget and the players that we had and now we're in League One. We're really outclassed by most teams there. Um, and yeah, look, it, it it's, it's a tough one because... Pretty much all of my fond memories of Carlisle come from Paul Simpson. Um, you know, you, you think of you know the Morgan Feeney header away at Oldham. You think of the playoff semi-final at Bradford, one of the best days ever. And even better, the playoff final at Wembley where we won. You know, some of the, they're the best memories as a Carlisle fan in my lifetime. You know, I'm, I'm 19. I can't remember us ever having any success in the past. 
So Paul Simpson, for me, is the only person that's brought any success to the club that I support. And for that, I'm going to stay loyal to him and I'm going to stick with him for now. I'm not going to throw him under the bus at the first opportunity. I'm going to hold out and I'm going to wait and see if he can if he can fix it. And I think he's earned the chance to have that. And if we go down, I want to see him given the chance to get us back up. Um, because look, the, the, the signs at the start of the season, and I'm talking about the start of the season, not in January. I'd argue we started this campaign with a weaker strike force than last year and I think most people would agree with me we started this season with Joe Garner up front who couldn't get into the team in League 2 last year you know and and we were having performances at the start of the season where we were really playing well and just couldn't get goals we couldn't score we would lose so many games 1-0 2-0 you know we'd, we'd, we'd lose these games marginally because we were playing well but couldn't score and the losing mentality of that, it takes a toll on the players. And it's and we're now, we've now lost that good performance aspect of it. Um, and it just looks dire. And you've just got to think, if we'd have picked up the points we deserved at the start of the season, we wouldn't be in this position. If we'd have had a Luke Armstrong at the start of the season, if we would have had Georgie Kelly at the start of the season, I think we'd been fine by, fine by now. I just, I just want to see these players that Paul Simpson and his team have brought in on long-term contracts, because I think he sees this as a long-term thing especially with the new owners and the backing he's going to have, even again in summer. I want to see what he can do. I want to see what he can do, given a full chance, given a full transfer window, because it's hard to do deals in January. That's a known fact in football. Um, and even still, he's managed to get seven through the door. I want to see what he does in the summer. I want to see what he does if we go down. And I just think we need to stick with him for now, because, let's be honest, sack him now, there's no point. We're, we're, we're probably going to go down if we get a new manager anyways. So, I think we just stick with the guy that's good at getting us back into League One if we go down. But at the same time, it's worth acknowledging that he has he has made mistakes this season. A lot of this can be put down to him. If you think about his constant uh, team selection changes that really get on my nerves, where he's constantly changing the team so we can never get a run of trying to get a, sort of, a bit of momentum going with a constant team. Um, we've changed the goalkeeper for we you know we've had four different first choice goalkeepers this season. That's something that you know I'm I'm very much against. Um, so yeah, I, I don't agree with everything he's done, but I do agree that he knows a lot more about football than me. And he knows a lot more about football than most people. Uh, you know, you know, criticizing his decisions, and for that, I just think let's just see how this one goes. There's no point in sacking him now. And the Peter Texas obviously don't want to. Yes, it's disappointing. Yes, it's been a dreadful season. But these laws will make the highs feel even better when they come. And I do believe that they'll come. And I do believe they'll come under this manager. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And in a bit.